Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, how are we today? Um, we are fine, um, stuck indoors again. Uh, it wouldn't uh, do much good going outside anyway, it's awful weather right now. Uh, it's been uh, stormy and thunder and uh, you know, last night we had uh, hailstones, so uh, who knows what to expect next. So, I've been doing some thinking and uh, I've been thinking about things that I really miss and one of them was beer. Uh, and this is a Lagunitas IPA, it's like one of the best uh, IPAs. And to go with beer, like, I was thinking, okay, well, like, I miss going to the pub and I miss hanging out with my friends, of course. Um, and the other thing that I miss to go with beer is fried chicken. So, uh, with that in mind, I thought we'd uh, make some fried chicken. So, here we go. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, it's wow. It really is wow. Okay, so I've got some chicken wings. Um, you could use uh, legs, you could use breast meat, you could use any bit of chicken really. And I'm going to brine these first for 24 hours and then uh, we're going to cook them tomorrow. Куриные крылышки можно использовать ножки, можно использовать бедрышки. Что хотите? Они будут мариноваться сутки. So, we've got a pan. I'm gonna put, I've got about 20, 20 uh, peppercorns, 20, a couple of, uh, uh, a couple of uh, bay leaves, a lemon, I'm just gonna roll that Limon. like this, and then cut it in half, squeeze it into there, just drop it all in, and then I've got three cloves of garlic, I'm just gonna crush those. To release the flavor. And then in here I've got 40 grams of sea salt. And 25 grams of sugar. I'm going to drop all of that in there. Is it necessary to use sea salt? Uh, ideally, no, you could use the iodized salt, I suppose. Можно использовать обычную соль, не обязательно. And then I've got one liter of water. Liter of which I'm just going to put a tiny bit of it in there. And then try to dissolve the salt and the sugar. Немножко добавить воды и растопить на огне соль и сахар. As you can see, the salt and the sugar are now dissolved. And then I'm just going to drop that all into here. That's our brine mix now, ready to go. The wings, what I've done is I've just taken them and uh, divided the, I've just cut them through the middle. Uh, and uh, then I've given them a, a wash. And um, that is, see, the reason why I divide the water is so that um, it's immediately cold. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to drop the wings in there. And then I'm just going to cling film those over and stick them in a the refrigerator for 24 hours. All right, we've fast forwarded 24 hours. As you can see, I've got a different t-shirt on. So I've just pulled the, uh, I'm not drinking every day, really. No, I'm not drinking every day. Uh-huh. <laughs> not much. Um, so we've fast forwarded 24 hours and we've just taken our chicken wings out of the fridge. And they are in the, obviously been in the fridge in cold water for our, our brine for 24 hours. So I'm just gonna take these out of here and drop them into Colander. Крылышки маринувались сутки. Достаем из маринада. And you can see that the meat's a bit firmer mm -hmm. than it was yesterday. So with the water drained off, we've got all the bits and pieces left from the brine in there. I'm just going to throw that in the bin uh, later. And then I'm just going to take the wings and put them onto paper and leave them to dry for about an hour. Достать крылышки и положить на салфетку где-то около часа, чтобы они сохли. So with our chicken wings, we're going to do, um, I just had a craving for, uh, to make a uh, chili jam and I haven't done it for forever in a day, so mm -hmm. I thought we'd make that today as well. So I've got a pan here, I'm just going to turn that on. Chili jam для chicken wings. 
Perfectly lime, plus I've triolo. Got, uh, I've got um, 125 grams of uh, brown sugar. 125 tresnikovo sahara. 125 gram, prosím, prosím, tresnikovo sahara. And then I'm just going to add a little water. Nemnogo vody. Just to ensure that it doesn't burn. Убедиться, что сахар не горит. And then we're going to cook that to a caramel. It's going to take a little bit of time. Probably about 6-8 minutes. И карамелизировать сахар около 6-8 минут. You need to cook the sugar quite fast, but also be careful that uh, you don't really want it to uh, uh, to burn. So there's a, a very fine line between when it's uh, ready and when it's uh, gone too far. Um, I've realized that I haven't named the rest of the ingredients. So I've got one uh, red onion chopped. Один красный лук. I've got uh, 15 grams of ginger chopped. 50 gram ginger in beer. 15 grams of garlic chopped. 15? Yeah. 15 gram chesnaka. I've got three uh, regular uh, chilies. The three, large ones. Three большие chili perca. Зависит от того, насколько острые вы хотите. Two, yeah, these are very hot. Two um, peppers chopped. Два болгарских перца. 100 grams of vinegar. 100 миллилитров уксуса. And uh, 150 grams of chopped tomato. 150 миллилитров консервированных томатов. As you can see, this is completely normal. Mm. And uh, we're waiting for the water to evaporate, obviously, and then to cook to a uh, to caramel. And you, the, the easiest way to tell is uh, the smell. It will start to take on this uh, uh, more of a, 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 sh a caramelized uh, flavor. You can smell it. Вода испаряется, и можно определить готовность по запаху. На самом деле, да, самый настоящий запах карамели. So you can see that we've got a nice caramel now and the smell is uh, there. So at this point I'm just going to take uh, our onion, ginger and garlic. So that immediately once you put these um, ingredients inside the caramel, the water is going to come out of them and deglaze the caramel. And we're going to keep cooking. We're going to keep cooking that until all the water uh, evaporates. Нужно продолжать готовить до момента, пока весь сок не выпарится. Probably about three or four minutes. Около трех четырех минут. At which point, after three or four minutes, we're then going to put our chili and our peppers in. И после трех четырех минут, когда выпарится весь сок, добавляем чили и добавляем болгарский перец. So we're back to a caramel stage again. At which point I'm going to put the chilies in and the peppers. Добавляем чили и болгарский перец. And at this point I'm just going to season lightly with salt. И немного посолить. Uh, you don't add too much because you can go back and correct the seasoning at the end of the cooking process. Не нужно пересаливать сильно, потому что соль будет добавлена дальше. And? And then we're just going to continue to cook that once again till all the water is going to come out of the um, peppers and the chili and then we're just going to keep on cooking. По тому же принципу весь сок должен выпариться из перца. So as you can see, all the liquid is now pretty much gone. So I've got vinegar here. We started with 100 uh, grams. I think it's going to be too much. So I'm just going to go with half of it. So about 50. Yes, подозрение, что 100 миллилитров уксуса слишком много, поэтому начнем с 50 миллилитров. And then again, keep cooking that down till the, till the vinegar evaporates. И опять ждем, пока выпарится. Vinegar now evaporated. So I've got our tomatoes here, add those in. And then I'm just going to turn the heat down and cook that nice and slowly for about 25 minutes. И поставить на минимальный огонь на 20-25 минут. So our jam's only been cooking for about six, seven minutes and already it's starting to be too dry. So I'm just going to add a little water to it to 
finish the cooking process. Послушай, ты сами минут на медленном огне немного добавить воды, потому что сильно сухой. Okay, so while waiting for that, I'm gonna make the flour for the chicken. А пока готовим муку для курицы. So I've got uh, 300 grams of uh, regular flour. 300 грамм муки. I'm using one large tablespoon of uh, potato flour for each 100 grams. Значит, используем одну столовую ложку крахмала на каждые 100 грамм. Okay, also I've got here, I've got uh, some uh, ground uh, chili spice. Chili, perec, smes, tri perec, krasny, chorny, biely i sol. I've got um, some uh, baking powder, so I've got one gram of uh, the chili spice, one gram of baking powder. Pudra dla wypiekania. It's uh, rozrychlite. Rozrychlite, uh, tak. I've got uh, three grams of garlic powder. 3 грамма сухого чеснока. And then I've got like a, it's like a spice mix. Um, it's got uh, cayenne, paprika, um, and a bunch of other stuff in there. А вот это коричневое, это обычная приправа для курицы. And I'm just going to drop that, all of that into there. И все улетает в муку. Give it a good mix. And... Хорошо размешать. A little bit of salt. You don't want to go too heavy on the salt because we've already brined the chicken, so it should have already this uh, uh, flavor of the salt and, or the uh, seasoning uh, all the way through the meat. Немного соли, потому что в курице и так уже в маринаде было достаточно соли. The chicken's been left for an hour. I'm just going to give that a little pat just to finish the drying process off. And then we're going to drop that directly into our flour. После почти часа высушивания протереть салфеточкой. И сразу закинуть муку. At the same time I've done is I've got a piece of um, uh, baking paper on the worktop and I'm just going to drop them straight onto the baking paper. One thing is is that it's very convenient for space. The second thing is is that there's less washing up. После муки сразу же отправить на бумагу для выпекания гораздо удобнее. Last piece taken out, and then I'm going to transfer the flour into a tray. There's a good reason for this, and we'll, you'll see in a little while. Засыпаем муку в противень. Into the same bowl that I had the flour in, I've got 150 grams of sour cream. 150 grams of smetana. You could use buttermilk or um, yogurt if you wanted. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the pieces of chicken and drop them through the sour cream. A bit messy, but it's well worth it in the end. And then stick them face down inside. You can do like more pieces at once, it doesn't matter. As long as it's got a nice coating of the sour cream on it. Отправляем курочку в сметану. All of our pieces of chicken inside, and then I'm just going to give them a good shake. Стряхнуть курочку. After you do that, you then turn each piece over. И перевернуть все кусочки. With them all turned over, give them a good shake again. Перевернуть и еще раз стряхнуть. And then literally, I'm just going to leave them inside this and turn them like uh, every now and then. Uh, we want this coating to be nice and thick on them. The flour needs to be nice and thick on them. Переворачивать. All those turn now. I'm just going to leave them in there and refrigerate until needed. Essentially, you could actually make these a day in advance and, uh, and they'd be fine. Можно их отправить в холодильник, потому что сейчас мы их жарить не будем, чуть попозже. So that's had about 20 minutes. It's had a little bit more water added to it, but that's about the consistency which, uh, which you want. Um, and I'm just going to turn that off now, leave it to cool. And then I'm going to put it in a jar, which I've got here, and uh, just store it in the refrigerator. This will keep for six months, I'd say. Спустя 20-25 минут джем готов остудить и баночку отправить. И на самом деле его можно использовать около полугода. And so these have been in the fridge for about hour and a half, two hours. I'm just going to roll off the majority of the excess flour like that. And then we've got some oil on the heat. Курочка полтора часа поморозилась в холодильнике. Немножечко стряхнуть муку, которая 
лишняя и масло уже разогревается. Ideally, you want the uh, oil to be about 180 degrees. В идеале масло должно быть 180 градусов. Uh, so, all nice and hot now, and I'm just going to take the chicken and start dropping the pieces in. Масло уже достаточно горячее, и отправляем курочку в кастрюльку. Chicken been in about four five minutes now, and I'm just going to pull those out. As you can see, nicely coloured. I'm going to pull all these pieces out. Don't stop filming. No, and then no. I'm going to just season them lightly. Okay, you need to fry these in batches, yeah? But you can see like, mm -mm, yum, yum, yum. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how we're going to present these. So, you don't have to do it like this. You can just do it on a normal plate if you want to. It doesn't matter. Можно на обычную тарелку положить, но у нас есть супер досточка, прям yep. как в ресторане, And да? Then, yeah, I've got our uh, jam that we made earlier, chili jam, a nice big spoon of that. А вот и время джема пришло. And then I've got a little bit of sour cream with some green onion chopped on it. Сметана с uh, зеленым луком. And the idea is that like uh, maybe like uh, to dip in the um, chili jam first and then in the sour cream afterwards. And these are too hot to eat right now, so we need to give them a few minutes.